just my secrets out. Hi everyone, I'm Tiran. And I'm Keating. And we're brothers, and this is The Storyboard. We're going to tell a story with pictures and some music. We don't know what it's going to be about. We don't know what it's going to look like. But we'll film our whole process, and we'll show you the finished product at the end. The stories that we've done in the past have been one about an animal, um, and one about a, a person and a robot. So I figured... Um, the lo the logical next place to go is can I guess <laughs> yeah we're gonna say an inanimate object yes okay <laughs> um, so the basic outline um, for a story that I had was um, a mountain goes to space um, so that's where the moon came from exactly must have been weird for people to look over at the mountain and say that's the moon <laughs> and <laughs> in 1968. <laughs> The moon went into space, and in 1969, we sent a man to the moon. <laughs> okay. A mountain goes to space. So, the idea I had, I think the mountain will have a face, just because I think it's cute. Um, the idea I had is just, like, basically just the whole story could just be the ascent of the mountain into space, and then it could just end with the mountain kind of floating and looking out in awe at, um, like, planets and stuff. I love that. They're, oh, that's so cute. Um, there's so many directions to go with that. Because I feel like you could have a really nice setup of of the mountain looking up at the stars, which would just be, you know, such a nice excuse to, like, draw a beautiful starscape outlined by trees and stuff, and then have it expand into, like, an unhindered starscape, you know? That's with the mountain such... at the center. That's such a nice idea. I'm excited to spend a little bit more time on landscapes because in the past ones, I have mostly been focusing on the characters with kind of the landscapes framing them. But I like the idea of the landscape being the character. Yeah, that's beautiful. that melody I hadn't thought too much about what kind of like music would fit the tone of this story but I feel like it fits really well to state the obvious I was like the melody has to rise so it's you know right you know, it doesn't come back down to arrive at the bass point again often when I'm writing a melody I'm thinking about if the melody repeats how do we lead back to that bass point instead of descending to try to get back to that beginning note i'm just repeating that melody from the beginning and going higher every time to evoke the feeling of like the mountain is just rising and rising you know that's so interesting how many pictures do you envision for this um i think maybe like four or five um and i think i'll do kind of bigger pictures so i can uh, spend you know a little bit more time on the on the details of the environments. I don't totally know what medium I'll use, but I think I'll do watercolor. The one other thing I want to say about music is, I like the like floaty, cloudy, atmospheric thing because I imagine, <laughs> I imagine that through sheer force of will, the mountain. <laughs> I like to imagine that through sheer force of will, the mountain is just rising out of its roots. There's no physical reason. It's not... When you first said it, I thought, like, a, a, a mountain that wants to go to space so it, like, gets the birds or something like that. It gets a, it gets a human to put it in a rocket. No. This mountain <laughs> just wants to go to space, and so it's just lifting off the ground smiling fully not confused about what's going on because mountains don't know how gravity works <laughs> you know it's funny when i was first thinking about this i actually had like rocket boosters underneath the mountain and i originally had it wearing a space helmet um 
But then, yeah, I decided, like, I like the idea of it just being like, I want to go to space and no one can stop me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there are a few directions to go with music because I feel like I want to have elements of, of like, intense energy and excitement in the background. Just like... <laughs> Something like that, but you know, think like full orchestra string section. You know, have that sort of implied or like fading in and out in the background as it starts to rise, but then end up in the more. Because the initial ascent is the exciting part, but then that leads to the mountain being at peace you know so like have it start excited and end up just peaceful and rising and hopeful absolutely i really like the idea of it starting out on the ground just like looking up and then the initial ascent being really like you know there's like dust everywhere and it's like a big it feels like a big event i'm even thinking i might like put a person looking at it to make it feel really like what is going on here like a very um climactic event but then as it goes higher become very peaceful and like contented well great let's uh let's get to work I'm here at my desk and I've been working on these pictures for a little bit now. I'm not that experienced at drawing landscapes like this, so it's been a really big learning process to um, do these pictures. One thing that I've been learning a lot about is kind of the order of operations when I'm painting these. In one of the pictures, the sun is just rising, and I really wanted to capture that really beautiful sunrise lighting. So in order to do that, I started out by doing a watercolor wash in yellow over the whole picture, which kind of helps add a golden atmosphere and cohesive kind of atmosphere to the whole image. After that, I looked at each area and tried to add a really saturated version of whatever color that area would end up being. And then I could add a more purpley kind of tone over that. Um, so that the really saturated tone from earlier would just be visible in a couple of places, which kind of adds a nice highlight effect with the sunrise. One of the things that really inspired me um, was this book, The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles. It's got this really wonderful style where the pencil work is really precise, but then the color is kind of looser and kind of um, goes over the lines in some places, and it's really, really beautiful. So for these pictures, I wanted to try to capture some of that really nice pencil by leaving it uninked and just having pencil in some sections. While working on this story, I remembered that a long time ago I worked with some friends of mine to send a high-altitude balloon to the edge of space, which recorded data and a video of its flight, and I thought it would be super cool to use some of that video for this story. I can't wait to see the finished product, and uh, I really can't wait to see what Tyrion's cooked up. So while Keating and I were talking about our story, what I kept thinking is, this is a story that has a plot that is about, you know, rising up and going on this exciting adventure but then the tone of the story and just sort of the landscape of the story is very peaceful so i want to have two musical themes one of which captures that exciting energetic um, adventure element of this story and one that captures the peaceful landscape sort of tranquility of outer space theme of the story so the way i'm going to go about that is to actually create two pieces of music and then layer them over each other and fade back and forth between them. The first is for the exciting theme and the second is for the peaceful theme. I'm going to start with the exciting one and my first instrument will be the acoustic guitar. Okay, this is an Ebo and this device uses magnets 
to make the guitar sound like this. So I'm going to try to use this for this next melody line. Okay, I'm liking this so far. I'm going to add some percussion. I guess my secret's out that I don't have mallets, so these are just drumsticks with socks over them. That was a little messy, but let's see how it sounds. So playing that melody on the acoustic guitar, I kept picturing a string ensemble playing the same melody, um, or playing something in this piece. And I have a cello in the house. I don't play the cello, but I'm going to do my best to make some sound come out of it that I can use in the final product. Okay. Really, even if I just get one or two notes that sound at all good, I can just use those notes and piece them together into something. Let's try that one more time. I think I could go on and on all day and not get anything too much better than that, so I'm going to work with that for now. So I think I have all the pieces for a good starting place for this theme. Um, now I'm going to start my work on a more peaceful, atmospheric theme. Um, and with this one, Keating and I talked about starting with really low instruments and working my way up to playing instruments that play in a really high register. I'm going to start with the electric bass, which plays very low notes. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next up is my little guitar. Even though it plays lower notes to begin with, um, I can use this to play what are called harmonics, which sound like this. For the final and highest section. I'm going to get a few different instruments to, to just play some soft sounds in the background. So I'm going to start piecing all these different things together, and then we're going to match the music to the pictures that Keating's drawn for our finished product. So we're back. Man, I'm so excited to see what you've been working on. Me too. I really can't wait to see how it all comes together. Yeah, I think we were really good this week about not um, not showing each other pretty much anything of what we were doing. So I'm I just like I have no idea what this looks like. I'm just I'm beyond excited. Could I look through these? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh. That's so good. Just the um, <laughs> concentration <Yeah>. required. <laughs> oh, these colors are beautiful. That's so great. The cloud coming up. Wait, so this layout of colors is so, so great. The blue into yellow into pink into the black. This So something that I was thinking about is 
if you look closely, that's like got some yellow on the stars and stuff. And then this one goes into pink at the top and then it's pink. And then there it kind of, you know, isn't exactly the same thing. But yeah. basically I was thinking about like leading into the next picture naturally with the colors. That's so good. The texture on that planet is beautiful. Thank you. So I just looked and the song I wrote is six minutes long, which I feel like this is five <laughs> pictures. So that's more than a minute for every picture. I'm gonna have to tweak that a little bit. Let's listen together and we can and we can talk about potential changes. Sounds great. Do you wanna look over these while we listen? Sounds great. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> So amazing. Thank you. It'll probably be about five minutes. I feel like that could, I feel like that could work well for this. Yeah. I feel like it lines up really nicely. Yeah. I think it'll be super amazing to see the finished thing. Me too. I was realizing that now that we've done a story about an animal and a story about a person and a robot and now an inanimate object, the next logical conclusion Wait, is... Wait, can I guess? Yeah. An idea? Yeah, an abstract concept is what I was thinking. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know how I'd write music about an abstract idea, but... I don't know how I would draw an abstract idea. <laughs> okay, so I have a few changes to make in the music. Then I think we can line the music up with these pictures and we'll have our story. Awesome. Okay, we'll show you the finished product right now.
Thank you so much for watching the storyboard. If you have any stories you've been working on, whether it's in the form of pictures or writing or music or anything, go ahead and email the Palmer Public Library because we would love to see what you're working on. We'll see you next time. Ka-chow. <laughs> I'm going to cut those all together. So it's <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great.